SpaceX did it. After years in development, the company's Starship, sitting atop the massive 33-engine Super Heavy Booster, lifted off from the launch site at Boca Chica, Texas, on its first orbital test flight. The Pulsar reports first stage engines nominal. What a sight from the Grand Pyramid's exterior. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. A phenomenal sight as the uncrewed vehicle cleared the tower and muscled its way through the atmosphere. But the most powerful rocket to ever fly didn't get much further than that. Several of the booster's Raptor engines failed. Going through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Three minutes into flight during a planned flip maneuver to set up for booster separation, the entire stack was tumbling. The entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Just seconds later, four minutes into flight, the vehicle experienced what's called RUD, rapid unscheduled disassembly. Pieces of the spacecraft rained down over the Gulf of Mexico. You never know exactly what's going to happen, but as we promised, excitement is guaranteed. SpaceX founder Elon Musk sat in what the company calls Star Command at the Texas launch facility. Musk has repeatedly tamped down expectations, saying just clearing the tower would be a win. Starship easily cleared that hurdle. The company has a contract with NASA to use a modified version of Starship to land astronauts on the moon. And the company's next generation Starlink satellites are too large to be carried into orbit on the Falcon 9 rocket. For Musk, the vision is far beyond the moon and Starlink. Starship, Musk believes, will be the vehicle that takes humans to Mars to colonize the red planet. Mars is a fixer-upper of a planet, and um, so it's, it's going to take some work to make it, make it easy to live there. But one day we could make Mars a planet like Earth. With its capability to put up to 250 metric tons into orbit, a fleet of starships could head to and from Mars, bringing people and cargo to build infrastructure for the first human settlement. Both Booster and Starship are designed to be fully reusable. That would, Musk says, reduce the cost of flights to unheard of lows. It may be as little as a few million dollars per flight. Um, maybe even as low as a million dollars per flight. So this is crazy. These are crazy low numbers uh, by space standards. Crazy, crazy low. There remains a long way and years to go before even the first Mars test mission. Before that, the plan is for Starship to orbit the moon, carrying a Japanese billionaire and eight crew members he chose, perhaps as early as 2025. For now, the SpaceX team begins figuring out what went wrong and then getting ready to try again. For my radar, I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.